The General John Burroughs Historical Society in Montoursville has a large collection of artifacts relating to the TWA Flight 800 crash in 1996 that killed 16 Montoursville High School students and their five chaperones. Their family, the Nyberg family, their son John built those cabinets and installed them. They're beautiful. And uh, basically their family was responsible for this. And they did a super job. And they felt, you know, all the stuff from the high school came over here. Those cabinets are full. We have stuff stored, and we picked out things that we thought would be the most interesting. There's a model plane that was sent of the plane that they went down in. And that was, actually, I think that went to the mayor. The mayor, that, the mayor had brought that, that here, office. Mayor Dorn. And, uh, and that's the complete NTSB. A uh, volume of what they found. Yeah. All the stuff's in there. From, spent forever trying to go through it. I don't know how they ever did it all. Wow. Many, including Bogart, still have a hard time talking about the crash. I still get a little emotional. I, yesterday when they interviewed me, I, I didn't think I would, but I still kind of broke down. Yeah. Well, I, I was teaching at the time. I, I was a teacher there for 35 years. At the high school? At the high school. I knew everyone. And uh, the Nybert family and our, we were uh, not best of friends, but we were we would get together once in a while, do things out there for them. Yeah. And they were, you know, very nice people. And my daughter, my youngest daughter, Allison, was friends with Cheryl, but she was a year younger, and uh, so that was a big loss. This painting, I was here one day, and this Thomas Dwyer, okay from uh, New Jersey showed up and he was the captain of that vessel. His friend was an artist for the Coast Guard, right? And after it happened, they got together and through his memory, through the pictures that they had, they, he painted this scene. The Army Corps of en Engineers got the first, or the original copy. He was out there actually doing soundings for the Corps. Got done, went back, and as soon as he got back there, he got the call and they went out. They made two copies of the original oil. He got one and they got the other one. So 13 years later he got in the car one day and I just happened to be here. Yeah. And he walks in with this and he brought all these along also. What was that? Was that an emotional experience? For him it was? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, it's, it's, it's choked you up. I get chills thinking about it. But yeah. He came and he just broke up.